All right, the Royal Rumble was this weekend, and it was a huge success in a lot oh, yeah. of ways. So it was a huge fine. I mean, it was a huge it was a huge business success, as we knew. Um, so the gate was seven point seven million. So it's the twelfth largest gate in the history of pro wrestling, um, and eleventh largest in in, uh, in North America, I guess. The um, the only shows that the only show in history that was not a WrestleMania that beat it was uh, Clash of the Castle, you know, in September. So, um, you know, from that standpoint. But, I mean, like, look, ticket prices are real, real high and all that. And um, but people pay them. Um, but I mean, the, the, the thing that I mean, I don't say there's there's a lot of stats that were impressive on, on it that, you know, will I have a big thing in the new issue on that. But the one that I wanted to bring up. Because I think that this is the one that exemplifies, like, you know, I think that, like, there's an aversion or something to, to some people in admitting that, that WWE is very hot right now or that Roman Reigns is, is a success. I'm not exactly sure why. Um, I mean, probably because he was pushed for so many years and, and was not a huge success. You know, they, they pushed him against the will of the fans for years and years and years. That, that happened. He turned heel. He turned it around. And, I mean, he's, he's a huge success now. Um, but the, um, the one that, like I said, was that they did double the merchandise sales, more than double the merchandise sales of the rumble in St. Louis last year. So it's the same era. It's not like we're going back a hundred years. Um, you know, and, and, and it was, it was, a, it was somewhat more people, you know, I think that the paid was about 7,000 more. I don't know what the, you know, whatever the made-up number they used was, but the paid was about 7,000 more. They made up uh, 54,000. 51. They made 50, 51, which isn't that far off of what was in there. You know, I mean, that that was, you know, it's not like WrestleMania where they it will exaggerate like 20,000, you know, I mean, overpaid. I mean, this one, the number overpaid, it was, it was probably uh, 10,000 overpaid, um, you know, of what, they're, what, they, what they claimed, you know, but the um but i mean like the st louis one was was about 7000 people less and they did more than double the merchandise with a, with you know almost the same number of people and that is uh i mean that is a testament your merchandise sales is really a testament to how over your characters are and how hot your company is and um you know i mean that's you know besides you know obviously paid attendance you know being really really high the fact that people are willing to spend an average of two hundred dollars a ticket. That that many people are willing to spend that type of money on tickets. Um, it's not like it's eight thousand people and you're averaging, you know, hundred dollars a ticket, which is impressive as hell. But this is just in a completely different um, stratosphere, really. Um, and um, you know, it's 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 uh, you know, and, th and there were other other numbers. You know, I mean, obviously the raw rating will be very high. Uh, for today's show, I'm sure when it comes out, maybe not at the level of last week, but it doesn't have to be the level of last week. But the, um, you know, WrestleMania's advance is um, not far. We are not far from the total number of tickets sold um, last year uh, with the advance now with still two months to go. So it's it's just a much hotter company than it was a year ago obviously since god knows how long you know i mean it's 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 very impressive and um it's one of those things where um it's going to be tougher for for you know aw and competition and things like that because um you know when it's when when the situation is competitive it it lifts both sides when the situation is no longer competitive in a wrestling war, the side that is not competitive has a real tough go of it. And uh, it's not impossible, but it's much, much tougher. If you ever study wrestling wars, when they're competitive, you know, I mean, wrestling's real hot in the area. And usually what happens is one takes the lead, sometimes it goes back and forth. But once it gets one-sided, um, Usually that war ends pretty quick. In this this case, you know, there's reasons that, again, you know, I'm not saying AEW is going to die or anything close to that, but um, it's it's um, you know it's the, the difference between now and a year ago is is for both companies, uh, as far as or as far as the competition, the competitive aspect of this business is 
really different. Um, you know, I mean, AEW was a year ago that they could beat Raw for male viewers um, most weeks. I mean, they had a string of like eight or nine weeks in a row where they beat them, you know, in, in adult males. Um, they were often, um, in fact, not even often, they averaged more people paid on the Wednesday for Dynamite than WWE could do for the Monday for Raw. And sometimes even could beat SmackDown, which has the advantage of a Friday. Um, and now that's not the case. You know, now, I mean, WWE is doing big business for, um, you know, most of its shows. Um, even Tulsa, which tonight was a perfect example. I mean, they the paid tonight is roughly double of what they, they, they did. Last January, they were in Tulsa as well. And this year, they did roughly double the paid attendance that they did last year. So that tells you right there, you know, I mean, the difference. It's it's a much, much hotter, hotter product than it's been in a long, long time. And, you know, it's storyline based. You know, characters are getting over. Um, the, the, you know, not the whole thing. The top characters are getting over and the top angles are, uh, at least some of them are working. Here is some actual commentary from Bash and Burger. I love barbecue. It's a lot of fun. Thank you. <laughs> During this match, uh, I believe uh, Bastion was uh, choking on his chicken wings. Bastion said, uh, Vince, you haven't lived up to your contract. I uh, require four or five pizzas delivered in a wheelbarrow. It was at this point that Bastion Booger demanded hot dogs. <laughs> were they delivered it? in a wheelbarrow, too? Yeah. That's a big hot dog. We were told Razor and Zanetti have called. It's a big wiener. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Brian. Big juicy wiener. Yes. In between two buns. <laughs> oh, you broke Vinny. If you enjoy these videos, for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full-length editions of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, The Mad Men Podcast, Speak Now Pro Wrestling with Denise Salcedo and more, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.